daddies and welcome to 12 days of vlogmas shop real rose y'all this dress is from real rose you'll get it just in time for christmas because i ship everything out the day i get the orders okay i don't play that i don't play that i don't play that good morning my baby daddies six days until christmas we less than a week until christmas i got too much shit going on in the background shut up my apartment is a fucking pigsty it's crazy i'm not even joking it's crazy anyways i was able to braid down that extra hair that i had hanging out the, the day did i say bye to y'all last night bye i think i'm gonna warm up some of that soup because ooh, yeah i need to wash these dishes like i can't even think right when my apartment is a hot mess like I feel so scatterbrained right now. I need to edit. Once I'm finished editing, I gotta go to the gym. Tomorrow's my off day, so I'm not tripping. If I don't finish everything tonight, I'll finish it tomorrow. Ooh, it looks so good. When I have little ideas like this, normally I don't have nobody to talk to about it because I'm by myself, I'm lonely. And um, now that I got you guys, you guys are watching me every day. I can talk to you guys about the little things that be coming up on my mind. And I think this is gonna help our community a lot, so. I noticed in the black culture, not the Nigerian culture, because that's the only other culture I know, but I noticed in the black culture that black women are bashed for being gold diggers. That doesn't happen in any other culture. So I feel like black people, black women, in order to help our men, have to all just become fucking very obvious gold diggers. And you have to be like, you ain't got no money, I ain't fucking with you, period. When niggas see that, they're gonna start getting money. They're gonna start working. Hopefully they don't start like doing crazy shit. But hopefully they put their pride aside and get a, a humble, real job. Like, you know what I mean? Cause if you gonna be a drug dealer, you better be big time. <laughs> if you gonna be doing some crazy shit like that, you wanna grow, you better be big time. I ain't about to be struggling with you and your little weed and your little uh, crack, whatever you got, whatever type of drugs you selling. And you think that I'm fucking just be struggling with you. No, fuck that, the hell? So yeah, I was just thinking like, the argument is always, well, with men that don't have money. Oh, you gonna get a rich man, and he gonna treat you like shit, and blah, blah, blah. But honestly, it's always the opposite. Rich men are rich for a reason, right? Because they know people skills, they know how to, um, they have business management skills. They are a full-rounded person, and that's how they were able to grow themselves. So dealing with men who are broke doesn't mean that you're dealing with a better man. That normally means that you're dealing with a worse man. He doesn't have people skills. He doesn't know business management. He doesn't know time management. So he's a trash ass nigga and he can't do anything because he could never get to work on time. He could never commit to something and stay committed and do it continuously and get things done. So dealing with broke niggas, it doesn't only come into a account that, oh, well he my man so I gotta be able to help him, blah, blah, blah. You're making bad decisions for yourself because this man is a bad decision. A good decision for anybody is to date a man who's um, better off than him and take care of that man because that usually men who are better off than you, what are they? Busy, right? So there's some things that they need to get done that you can get done. And if you get those things off of his plate, like, hey, babe, I was able to fix this, I was able to do this, then he's going to have some free time to take you shopping, to take you on trips, you know, all those type of things. So really, put that into the mindset of the men around you, that they need to be rich, okay? I've been saying this for the longest. All the guys around me know that they need to be rich. Now, if they're not taking steps to do it, that's their fault, because I make sure I tell them and that they need to get on their shit. Otherwise, I'm not marrying a broke nigga. I'm not, and my wedding is going to be, it's going to be crazy. Now, $100,000 a year, like, you know, that's cute or whatever, but you're not about to be my husband, <laughs> you know? No, 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 no. I'm working on, by 30, being able to make triple that at least, 300000 a year. Then I'll be good. Then I could be like, look, I don't need a wedding. I could have a birthday party and treat it like it's a wedding, have bridesmaids and everything, bitch. The fuck? So, at the end of the day, my man needs to be wealthy because I plan on being wealthy and I don't want to ever look down on my man because his only role, being to protect and provide, which I told you guys in the last vlog, or a couple vlogs ago, his only role, he's not able or capable of doing it. I don't want to have to look down on my man, you know what I mean? People are like, oh, women start changing when they're the ones um, paying or they're doing this. Yeah, because it doesn't feel like a man when I'm the one paying for things. It just, I feel stupid as fuck. 
when I pull out my wallet and, and there's a man in the same vicinity as me. Like, I'd be wanting to tell him, like, one time I was in the car with this boy who thought that he was going to talk to me later, and I I was just coming out, he invited me somewhere, I was coming out from the parking structure, and he was in my car, and I'm just like, oh, how much is it? They're like 12 or $15, however much it was. I'm like, mmm, my purse is in the back seat, and he's just on his phone. Get out of my car. <laughs> Lucky I was being nice that day because he could have got out of my car and walked and walked the fuck to his shit. Like, no, that just feels so stupid. And it's not that I don't have it because I ended up paying for it anyways. It's not that I don't have it. It's just that you need to show me your masculine energy. I need to feel it. I need you to, I need to feel that it's like, no, I got you. I got you, you know? And some guys just aren't rich enough or don't have enough money or stability enough to be able to put up that $15 for you. So at the end of the day, we need to get greedy, yeah. We need to, we need to, the reason why Nigerian men are so successful is because Nigerian women are gold diggers. We ain't deal, how many Nigerian girls you know deal with um, broke, broke uh, men? And then all the, um, all the Nigerian men who are doctors right now, you should see their DMs. Okay, I have some Nigerian men doctor friends, as you guys will see in vlog 24 or 23, I don't know which one it is, I haven't edited it yet. But. I have some male doctor friends and their DMs are fucking off the chains, okay? Off the chains. Were you <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? Look at that tight ass shirt on you, boy, looking like Wakanda forever. What are you doing? My exercises? Your waist exercise? Huh? Your posture exercise? Yeah. I'm supposed to do these before I go to the gym. And also, I realized I think that was part of the reason why I wasn't lifting right or not lifting as much. So I do those and it's like my shoulders and stuff so they get a little bit. No, it's because you didn't eat. But yeah, I did not want to wear this shirt. I had another one that I was supposed to wear. I'm trying to show them your muscles. Don't lie. You trying to show off. Right. Don't lie. I think. This is so funny. I was at, I was watching back this video and watching this. Six days. <laughs> My phone was like, I got you. We wasn't talking to you, buddy. He was talking to you. I have to clean up a little. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's crazy. So that's something I have to do real quick. That's a tattoo that he wants to get. Here you go. That's your first. <laughs> Got from the 99 cent store some guava juice. We're gonna see if that tastes good because I love guava. I left my camera at home, so we're using my phone right now. Um, normally when I show you guys sets, it's literally, we do three or four of those sets. But this one, they're all different. We move our arms up in and out. They're building something in the gym, so um, I'm not going to talk. I'm turn the volume off. But watch my hands. I'm going to lift my hands like this, and I'm going to turn around and do the same thing.
that's why. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But I want my arms to be Supposed to go slow, lady. Huh? He never went slow. Started off slow. Oh. <sighs>
So we do two on the inner rod. If you have this machine, I don't know an alternative for this. But we do two sets on the inner rod. And we do, we two do sets. four. Huh? Two and two. And then we do two sets on the outer rod. back in buys today. my camera at home so you know the gym footage was from my phone so the difference in quality I don't know it might be it might not be I don't know but um I didn't finish my workout Chris was irritating the fuck out of me irritating the living shit out of me like he started talking about I don't know why he brought this up he knows it's like a trigger for me whenever we work out at least up until now I thought I trained him well enough you know, because I feel like all the guys in my life, I'm kind of training them to be men because they don't know what it takes, you know. So for the most part, at the beginning, he would like help me take off these weights, like 45 pound weights and stuff like that. You know, he would tell me to move them. And I'm like, you got all the muscles for nothing. Like, you know, like you're a man, like you move them. But I wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. I kind of said stuff like that jokingly with no big deal about it, you know. And then um, eventually he realized like, yeah, you know what? I do got these muscles and low key. Me moving these weights is like another e extra workout, you know, on top of it. So he was doing that for probably like two weeks without bothering me. <laughs> so today he said, oh, help me move the weights. And after he finished saying that, he could have just been like, help me put the weights on. I would have put the weights on, you know. After he said that, he said, it's 2018. Women want to get, women want everything to be equal, right? <laughs> that was... <laughs> Oh, I could have slapped him straight dead in his fucking face when he said that. I was like, no, women want equal pay for equal work. So if you and a woman are doing the same work, y'all need to get paid the same. He was like, but then y'all still want us to pay for everything. I'm like, you need to learn how to separate business and pleasure, okay? If me and you are working at work and we're doing the same job, when I come home and I'm a woman to you, you got to take care of that responsibility, okay? Don't just disregard whatever the fuck she did at work and take on your role. Well, if we're doing the same job, we're making the same amount of money, then why can't she do 50-50? Um, why can't it be 50-50? I'm like, why would she want to do 50-50 with you? She could do that with her homegirl. She can do that with another woman, okay? Why would she want to do 50-50 with you? He's like, well, at least 70-30. I'm like, but Why? She need to pay something. Like, why would why would we be making the same amount of money and then I'm paying for everything and she just keeping the money? In my mind, first of all, most women are not going to just keep their money. They're going to help in one way or another and you'll see it, you know? But I feel like guys need to take that out their mind. I, like, it's almost like they're just so pissed that women are able to make money. So what if she wasn't making money and she was just in the house all day and you came home? You would be the one paying the bills. Okay, so just pretend like she never told you that she went to work and she went to work and she came back at the same time and she still took care of everything that needed to be taken care of, which is what women do. Just pretend she never went to work. Okay, because that's exactly what it is. And then she still has to take care of your fucking ass. He's like, well, he's like, well, uh, so that means you better start cleaning stuff up for me. I was like, I clean up after you all the fucking time. I clean up for, I clean up after you every fucking time you come to my house. I have to fucking clean up after you every single time. There's never been a time you came to my house and not made one mess. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, when I come to your house, I make you clean up after yourself. He's like, well, you should be cleaning up my room and my house too. I'm like, because you're lifting weights because you have muscles because you're a man. I just don't get, I just don't understand this argument. So he started getting mad because like when I'm to one, when me and somebody else, like I said, when I'm me and somebody else is arguing, Whatever is in my mind is what's going to come out. So he started getting mad because he realized there was no argument there. 
I was like, well, since you're such a man, why don't you get a big, why don't you get a better job? Why don't you get a job that pays you more than her? So that way you're not worried about her money. Or start another job on the side. While she's taking care of you in the house, she goes to work, you go to work at the same exact job, y'all making the same amount of money, and she's handling all the shit in the house too. While she's doing that, instead of sitting on your fucking ass, get the hell up and start making some extra money so that way you can have that extra income that she has. I mean, she's not getting paid for, to take care of you. <laughs> her, you paying her to take care of you is you paying the rent, you paying the light bill, you paying all these motherfucking bills, okay? That's you, that's you paying her to be a woman. I was like, if you guys are working the same exact job, she should get paid more than you. Why? Because she's on her period today. And she's going to be on her period tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. And that shit fucking hurts. Don't think just because we're chill about it and it's natural that it's cool. I was like, that shit fucking hurts. And she comes to work with you. And she wakes up in the morning and she brushes her hair. She brushes her, her teeth. She fucking washes her face. She puts makeup on. She does everything she has to do to look presentable because they will not allow her to come to work any other way. Okay? So she should be getting paid more than you. And you should still be taking care of her when she gets home, when she's taking care of you. Woo! Sorry, y'all. Damn me to just explode on you guys, but this motherfucker was at the gym talking all this bullshit, and I was just like, so he got mad because I broke it down to him. I was like, and you know what's fucked up? And you expect that bitch to have, I was like, and you expect a woman to have a child for you. I was like, your mom carried you in her stomach for nine months, and you're tripping about lifting up a 40. 45 pound weight. I was like, you could never repay her for that. You know that, right? He was like, well, if my mom need me to pick up weights, I'll pick up weights. I was like, what about the woman that you're going to marry? Are you going to be like, oh, why well, I got to do this for you and blah, 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 blah. You going to pick up her weights? Like, are you going to bring it up every now and then that you feel like, oh, you wasting your money on her? Like, <laughs> you got it fucked up, buddy. And I was like, there are men out here that are willing and they know their roles because they were taught it from a young age. You weren't taught shit from a young age. And that's what I'm doing. Which I'm putting a burden on my back trying to teach you shit and you're not even fucking listening. So I've known you for damn near a year and I've been teaching you how to be a man for a year, okay? Almost a year. And your motherfucking ass is gonna come to me today and tell me that I, you didn't, you wasn't listening to shit I said? I was disappointed. So there's one machine where you lift weights like this. Um, you do that on one arm, you do that on the other arm, and then the person that you're with will put a weight on, an extra weight, and then you'll do it with both arms, right? So he was doing his, and he finished his second set and hopped off the machine and runs around and puts his weight on it. And I'm like, okay, so you don't want my help anymore because we, like, you know what I mean? I've always put your weight on, but okay, I'm not tripping. So it's my turn, right? And I get on the machine, and normally he'll take the weights off and put my weights on. He didn't do that, so I got off the machine, I took his weights off, two 45 pound weights, and I put my 25 pound weight on, right? And then when he realized that I was like, not gonna say nothing about it, then he got up and got my two weights, the two tens, that he'll put on when I'm gonna do both arms. And I was just like, just put those down, cause I'm gonna put them on myself. Cause you're making it seem like I'm burdening you. You got all the muscles for fucking nothing. That's what I mean by protect and provide and they can't even fucking protect you. You got these muscles that look nice, but you can't even fucking use them. Stupid ass nigga. Dumb stupid nigga. Whoo, y'all. So I was just like, after that, I was like, I'm gonna blow up on him, so let me leave. I left. I said, I'm leaving. And I just grabbed my stuff and I started walking away. He was like, wait, what happened? What happened? I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna go home. And he was like, why? Because I didn't put your weights on? And I was like, just think about everything that we talked about today. I'll see you tomorrow. And then I left. I need my sanity, y'all. So anyways, we had a few more exercises to do today. There's that one, and then we had to do the, um, it's like I use a 50 pound weight and I put myself in a position. I'll show you guys right now. You get in position like this, and then you grab the weight, you have this leg forward, you put this leg back, your back has to be straight, and you pull the weight straight to your stomach the bottom of your stomach pull it up and that's how you work your back all the way up like that and then you do that on both sides right and then you sit down and I use a 17.5 weight and I lift it like this and you bring it all the way down 17.5 I use heavy weights you guys so if you guys are looking at my weights do not use the weights that I use I don't know I think I'm low-key a man too shit might as well be oh don't use the weights I use use the weights that feel comfortable for you to do 10 reps 
and three sets. Because I always do three sets. I only show you guys one set. But I always do three or four sets. Okay? And then do it on the other side. And then the last exercise that we do for back day is um, a machine that you sit on. Not on the floor. Um, you sit on it. I'm sorry, I use like 200 and... 75. I use the highest weight on this machine and it's like a machine that has like a rod on your back and The weight you push the machine all the way back and that works your lower back and you push it all the way back So I make sure I get every part of my body worked out on throughout the week That's the last exercise we would have done today for cardio. I would have been jump ropes and squats, but I had to leave you guys because I'm trying to salvage my little relationship. I feel like God sent me for Chris, but he be trying to rebel sometimes like I'm his fucking mom. I'm not your mom. <laughs> I'm not your mom. What everybody has been waiting for is how this palette from the 99 cent store works. We gonna try it out right now. As you can see, I got my makeup on. I got like the base makeup on. I haven't said or anything, but it's time for contour. So, let's remind you guys what the palette looks like. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't wanna mess up my whole shape, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna start with the contour. You can't really mess up contour, right? Especially not a beautiful ass brown contour like that. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with a little, cause it looks so pigmented and it is. So I was thinking about this, and I'm sorry the music is so loud, but I was bumping. <sighs> oh, y'all need to go to the 99 cent store. So I was thinking about this. All these beauty companies that buy, um, that sell you stuff like this, of good quality, okay quality, whatever, they are able to sell it for $3, okay? They are capable of selling it for $3, but they try to steal our money for some motherfucking, um, Makeup and so most of the time the makeup is just attached to somebody's name or whatever. Look at that What? They don't even make good makeup like this for black girls. I'm about to go back and I'm gonna buy a whole bunch more I'm gonna buy as many as I can and I'm gonna tell them to bring them out because as a matter of fact For people who can't buy them. They don't have them in their state. I'm selling this. I'm selling them I'm gonna sell them putting them on the website and everything. Fuck that <laughs> Like what? Perfect bronzer for a black girl and I'm putting a little teeny eensy weensy bit beach. But I was thinking like, you know the 99 cent store only makes a dollar or less off of all of their things in the store. Like most of the stuff, they buy it for cheap or maybe they get it for free, I don't know. And they sell it for a dollar. Their profit margin is one dollar. So when they got this and all the other things that are one ninety or that are more than um, a dollar, they're just making a dollar off of it. That's all they care about is that one dollar that they're making off of that product. So who knows, they're probably making two dollars off of this palette. They probably got it for one dollar and they're selling it for two ninety nine. So they're making two dollars off of this. So at the end of the day, 99 cent store, that's where it's at, okay? I mean, they ain't trying to overtax us. We know that because everything in the store is a dollar, right? <sighs> I look brown. <laughs> oh, I'm hype. And if I want more product, I could just like dab it into my skin like this. Look at that. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, dab it in. Dabbing it in is better, for sure. Oh, let me try the blush. Let me try the blush. <laughs> Cause I'm fucking hype right now, beach. Which one should we do? I love you want to try this one because it's like a little, it's like a little peachy color. No, that just went right into my skin. Okay, we're gonna do the light pink first. <laughs> Y'all, you see what I did? I barely even touched it. Look at this. Can y'all see? I don't know, y'all. It's a good amount of blush on there, okay? I barely even put anything on the brush. Yeah. Go get this palette for sure. My sister was like, let me know how it is when you try it first. Cause she's like, it might look good, but it might not work nice. I should be on FaceTime with her right now, actually. Cause this shit is crazy. We hit the come up, y'all. We hit the come up. Let me know in the description box if you guys 
got one because I know I told y'all to go to the 99 cent store right now and get it. So let me know if you guys got one. That bright red though, I don't know. So we're gonna try this um, lip color too. Let's see how this works. It was $1.99 at the 99 cent store, so. I'm gonna start with the light color because you guys know I like my like my nudes. I like that. It's not really a lipstick, it's like a lip gloss, but really pretty. <laughs> really pretty. So I use this really like nude color and it's like a perfect nude for me. And obviously I have the brown around it. I'm gonna put some pink in it though. Since I got pink to play with, I like that. Can y'all see? You can create your own colors. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yep, I like that, I like that, I like that, I like that. That goes inside the main makeup bag. That coming with me. That coming with me. Let me put my little makeup, my little lip brush back inside. <laughs> you coming with me? Contour, blush. I'm I did a little bit more contour on this side. I just kind of got carried away, but mm-hmm. Look at them lips. Like, look how it looks like just kissable, right? Yeah, I like that. I like that product. I have a lot of like filming to do, as you guys know. I haven't really been posting on my main channel. Um, that Fashion Nova video, I'm gonna film that one today. I'm gonna install that wig first. I'm gonna install the wig first on video, and then I'm gonna do the Fashion Nova video. And um. <laughs> 99 cent store better not fucking turn into a, a makeup store, bitch. Why would they, if the 99 cent store turns into a makeup store, you know how much money they're gonna be making? I need to get on that before they do. I need to go to China. Well, we already making plans to go to China. I'm going to China, I'm gonna find makeup. I'm only gonna put a $1 tax on it. I ain't trying to take y'all money. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, give y'all some shit. You know what I'm saying? Put a $1 tax on it, that's it. And then I'm gonna have a makeup store. Oh, I think there is something like that. Shop Miss A. So yeah, I'm gonna do the black stuff. Y'all know about that, the liner, lashes, and um, liner, lashes, and mascara. And I finally, the last time I did my makeup on camera, I finally got, um, fin I finally finished using the old lashes. Like they finally gave up on me. I was like trying to take the glue off and that shit said eee! So I was like, all right, well I got my six uses out of you. <laughs> and I'm gonna move on to the next set. I didn't put on eyeliner today. I just wanted to enjoy my eyelashes. Mm -hmm. My 50 cent eyelashes. <laughs> but yeah, very glowy, very glowy makeup that I did today. Um, I want my makeup to get a little bit more glowy. I want it to kind of like sit in my face a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on inventory and maybe in the next hour or two then I'll film my videos. What time is it now? It's already 11, so. This is how I be. This is how I be up. <laughs> just did my makeup at 11 o'clock at night. Not going nowhere. I just realized right now that I haven't eaten. What did I eat this morning? I ate soup in the morning. I haven't eaten since then. But I'm trying to set up like this little rack for my Fashion Nova haul. And I realized how much fucking stuff Fashion Nova sent me. So I have to put all this stuff on hangers and get it ready for this haul. Um... That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I have a stomach ache. And I think it's because I haven't eaten, but I also think it's because I ate a whole bunch of bullshit yesterday. I don't know, I was high, and I smoked some type of, you know there's certain types of weed that make you want to eat a lot? And that has to be what happened. I smoked with my friend, so. He gave me some munchies weed. Who, don't give girls munchies weed. <laughs> but, my hair's drying. Oh, y'all ain't even seen it yet. But this is the hair. I fucking installed it, y'all. <laughs> Beach. <laughs> Wait. What? I can't hear you. 